Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll be opening day number 15 of my Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. We'll start off by actually um, um, doing a recap of what we've had before. So we've got my modified A-Wing, which I do think, is, which, is, which, is, which, is, which, is, which is one of my favourites. If you haven't let, let know which is your favourite at the end of the video, do feel free to leave a comment at the end. We have the Lars Homestead, which is Luke's home, or the Tatooine Moisture Farm. That's a, that is a, I do, that's a, that's a nice little build. Number four, we should have. Should have Luke Skywalker, but he seems to have fallen out of the box a bit, so. Day number five, we have the Razor Crest. Number, day number six, we have the Sith TIE Fighter. My, mine's been modified, got a bit, because I've got a bit of detail on it. Spare bricks, so I thought I'd do a, bit, a few mods on it. So, okay. day number seven, Have our Sith Trooper. Basically, Storm Trooper in red, but it, but it does look really cool like that. Day number eight, we have the X Wing. It doesn't now doesn't really seem to like going back in and out of the box, but. Have to bear with that. So, got our little X Wing there. Day, day number nine, we have Ray Skywalker. Day number 10, we have D Zero. Day number 11, we have the Millennium Falcon. Day number 12, we have the Porg. I put a little hat on my Porg because I have some spare bricks. So I do think quite a cool little figure. Day number 13, we have our Republic Cruiser. Quite a cool little build. Day number 14, we have our Battle Droid. Quite nice. Not a bad little figure, but I do think maybe a bit of colour, maybe a bit of Christmas colour on it would be quite nice, or some, or or maybe some um, colour coloration to, to, to separate it from normal battle droid could have been good, but but it's overall quite good. Now we've got day number fifteen, which if you anyone watched my in my previous videos will know I've act, I've pushed that one slightly already. I haven't opened it. So this will be a surprise to me, as much a surprise to me as it will be to you. Now we've got a Trade Federation um, sp space station, uh, um, Trade Trade Federation transport on here. I'll try and show you this. This is the one from uh, the start. This, this is the ship that featured uh, uh, was, was, the, was one of the main, the main bad guys in the Phantom Menace. So we get this built. So we build this sides like this.
you've got two sides like this. Then you've got a lamp piece that goes on there. Got that piece there which links them. Got a little dome bit in the middle. Little bits that go in the back, we'll just that bit goes in there, and let me just see what. I'm going to modify it. This is the actual build, like this. I'm actually going to modify mine a little bit because I've got one, because I've got two, just a couple of spare pieces. I might actually put, try and put a spare. I've modified mine, got a little uh, spare defence gun on the, on the bottom there, so just to give it a little bit more edge, so there we go, that's, that's your trade, uh, I think, the Trade Republic um, base ship, which is, which is from the Phantom Menace, quite a nice little build, I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope it, um, Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if, you, if, if you have, do feel free to like, share, or comment. If you like, let me know which one's your favourite, which one isn't, or anything like, or, or any feedback, please let me know. All feedback is gratefully received. I'd like to thank my reg, my my regular sub, sub, subscribers on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you very much for your continued support. It's very much appreciated, and hope it continues. Stay safe. Keep building and I hope very much to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.